welcome to a very special edition of Sit Down with the Principal. Uh, two of my favorite people in the building. Uh, I'm going to allow them to introduce themselves and tell us their role. I'm Miss Winger, and I teach the law classes, and I'm also responsible for the MyTrack Law Program. I'm Mr. Ivan. I teach government and AP government first period when we're watching this. Wonderful. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, so we have Constitution Day, right? Constitution mm -hmm. Day was September 17th, mm -hmm. and we're having this time together to talk about it because it's an important day. So could you, uh, Laura, could you, Ms. Winger, sorry, could you tell me what Constitution Day is? Um, Constitution Day um, is celebrated on September 17th. Um, it's a commemoration of the, the signing of the Constitution in 1787. And federal law uh, requires us, all schools actually, to um, do something uh, related to Constitution Day. And so this is our, our contribution. Very good. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Ivan, what does it mean to you uh, as a government teacher to celebrate Constitution Day? Or what does the Constitution mean to you specifically? Yeah, I think there's a lot to do with the Constitution. Um, one of the things that makes it so important, I think, is the preamble. Just wish I had one. Oh, <laughs> I got one in it. Oh, preamble. Oh, and then I can't read it like that because it's facing the camera. So I have my pocket Constitution. Pocket Constitution, uh, yes. Yeah, uh, but I think the preamble is the most important part where it says, we the people of the Constitution. You know, like, we the people of the United States. It's one of the first documents that references, like, the people are the ones with the power. It's not like a king or queen or a pharaoh and so it kind of like just frames everything else going on from there mm -hmm. right so it's pretty cool very nice and Ms. Winger you're a lawyer right yes. and so you're uh, in charge of our my track law program and teach mm -hmm. law classes so from that perspective what does what does this document mean to you or for you um, well basically everything um, it is the heartbeat of our United States government every law that we can think of stems from the Constitution and so by understanding the Constitution, we also understand our role as American citizens. And we talk about um, the United States as the great experiment because it was really the first time that average everyday citizens could participate in their government. Uh, if you would continue a question for you, what mm -hmm. makes the United States Constitution unique? Well, what makes it unique is the fact that it's the oldest written constitution and it's also the shortest uh, written constitution. So it's unique in that sense, and therefore it can be open to interpretation. Mr. Ibin, you alluded a little bit to it, right, in, in your opening comments, but why is this document really so important for us as citizens? I think it sets up the whole framework and how you kind of mentioned with everything. And so it's more than just like rules and regulations, but it's how we rule as a society, which is kind of cool. And like, what do you think of people and your role of the government? I think is really important. And mm -hmm. you mentioned it's one of the shorts. It's only 7,000 words long. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the preamble was written by an interesting person that didn't have much with the rest of it. Um, and so it's just kind of like how it evolves and how humans are. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so uh, maybe a little different than things we talked about before, before this, but I was just thinking that in the last several years, right, the last handful of years, there's been a lot of fire back and forth politically, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of social media, a lot in the news, right? And I keep hearing things come back to the Constitution. How are our laws, right, whether on a, um, a, a federal level or state level, how are those driven by the realities in this Constitution? I, I'd ask you both to answer that question. Well, all laws have to be constitutional. So when Congress, for example, passes a law, um, and it's not constitutional, it will be challenged in court, and then chances are pretty good that it will go all the way up to the United States Supreme Court, and if they basically overrule it, that means it goes away. And so that in itself is a very important role of both the Supreme Court and the Constitution. Thank you. I think physically when you look at it, it's just half of it is Article 1, which is all about the legislation. That's all about our voices getting out there. And it goes into Article 2 with the executive mm -hmm. branch of like, how does your voice turn into action? And then we judge it. So it's mm -hmm. like this checks and balances and their separation of power. Um, limited government, too, mm -hmm. kind of all filters into that. Is like, mm -hmm. is everyone following along? But also I like Article 3 with the judicial review of like, are our actions appropriate and are they right? Right, so uh, we want to encourage everyone in our building, all of our students to really know and understand the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, because we are all U.S. citizens and because um, we all have a voice and we have a responsibility as citizens to participate in that government and that includes especially voting. 
And even like from a global perspective, over 200 other countries have used pieces and parts of our constitution. So from just like a world citizen, uh, it just makes you better. Yeah, so I will tell you, right, as a, as a young person growing up and when I finally turned 18 and had mm -hmm. that, the, the ability and the power, mm -hmm. right, to have my vote counted and, and my voice heard, I think is something I would hope uh, that you certainly, right, remember and take with you, especially mm -hmm. you seniors, as you turn 18, right, and I'm sure this will come up in your class. Yes, Get registered to vote, yes. right? Vote, mm -hmm. uh, vote early, vote often, vote your conscience. Uh, anything else that you'd like to add before we sign off for the day? Well, one thing I don't think we mentioned is the fact that we do have a Bill of Rights, and those rights protect our rights. Um, and so it's important to understand what those rights are, what they are, and what they aren't. And so that's kind of what we do in government and in law is to try to help you understand that. Yeah, I like the Bill of Rights a lot. I mean, it's kind of like looking at the amendments. I feel it's kind of like the alphabet that the rest of the world speaks in. And there's a lot of heavy language in it, but it's to make sure that everyone understands what's happening. Mm -hmm. It's not to block anyone. It's just so we all have the same definition for the same thing that's happening. Mm -hmm. So, so cool. I really appreciate you spending some time with me today to talk about Constitution and Constitution Day. Uh, I would certainly encourage you to pay attention in Mr. Ivan's government <laughs> class. I would certainly encourage you to take Ms. Winger's uh, law classes, right, mm -hmm. and, and learn more about this. But certainly, uh, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness makes a difference, right? That's right. Have a great weekend, and as always, Go, Go Bruins! Bruins.